Hey, what's up? So I'm working on the UDR again, and in this video I'll be working on the rear suspension. I will be installing these RPM trailing arms and the skid plates, along with the MIP rear drive shaft, and these upper links. I will also be installing the rest of the shock leak fix kit. To remove the rear upper links, you need to remove this panel right here. For the bottom link, you can just bend this up and you can get to that screw. So I'm replacing these links because they tend to bend and these new ones are a lot thicker. Yeah, and they have the aluminum ends. I'm going to go ahead and install the shock leak fix kit. If you haven't seen my first video, I'll show you again how to do it. So you just have to hold the shock shaft. And you can remove this piece. And then you can remove the bottom. And just be careful not to damage the shaft, but you remove this bottom. X ring. This is everything you install to fix the shock leak. Start with the O ring, then this plastic flange washer. This o-ring goes over the threads. And then you just thread this on. and that will stop the shocks from leaking. I'm gonna go ahead and do that in the other three shocks. Okay, so I have all those installed on the shocks. These shocks are pretty good on these. The only issue is the leaking, so this fixes it. Uh, I've never had a problem with my old UDR uh, bending anything or breaking any of the plastic parts off. But I do take it easy with my UDR compared to my other RCs. So I have the other side disassembled already, and I'll go ahead and start assembling the RPM trailing arms with the skid plates. The skid plates come with its own screws. And just like the front RPM arms, you need to use the pivot balls from your stock parts. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those right now. You can use a uh, 9mm or 3 8 socket. Just like that it comes out. And then to put it on the new one you just do the same thing with the socket. And that's it. I'll do that with the other ones. Okay so I have all those installed. I'm going to go ahead and install them onto the UDR.
and I'm also going to install these lower links. Go ahead and install the rear shocks. So I have all the shocks reinstalled. I'll go ahead and reinstall the rear axle. All right, so the rear suspension is done. I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall these panels on the sides. Just gonna assemble this uh, MIP drive shaft. All right, you just need to grease this up right here because this part moves in there. And that just goes in there like that. These should also be greased up. And just line up the holes. Make sure the flat spot is facing the threaded side. Then you just take the flat set screw, put a little bit of Loctite on there. And then you can just put it right through this hole and screw it in. And just do the same thing on the other side. And these other set screws are what holds the drive shaft onto it. Those get Loctite on there as well. Okay, with the drive shaft assembled, you can go ahead and install it on here. It's easier to start with the transmission side first. Okay, that'll be it for this video. I'm going to leave it apart for right now. Still doing a few more upgrades to it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.